everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a tag. I'm so excited because it has to do with palettes. I actually got this video idea from Allie Glines and I think she did it in collaboration with Samantha March and it is the palette tag. It's not questions, it's just like favorite colorful palette, favorite like used palette or you know, you get the gist. But I'm just going to be getting on my phone and going through them so I know which palette to grab on my desk. But I'm so excited, guys! Palettes are my favorite thing in makeup. I could really say that about anything, but palettes are like, they're the greatest thing in makeup. Because I feel like you can do so many different things with eyeshadow palettes like foundation. Okay, great, it's gonna be the same color, same finish, same whatever on your face, but palette, you get a different look every single time that you use it, or at least you can, which is why I love eyeshadow palettes so much. So when I see it at this tag, I'm like, I gotta do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe before you leave and let's get into the tag. All right, so the first one is the newest palette. And this is so new, I haven't even used it yet. I literally got it in the mail yesterday, but I'm like, perfect! Because it is the newest palette that I have. This is the BH Cosmetics Midnight Festival Palette. I think this packaging is so cool. It's like that... Can you hear that? That is so cool! It's like holographic or whatever that's called. You probably can't see it that well with my lights, but like has fireworks leaving, fireworks going, fireworks leaving, you know. But this is what the inside of the palette looks like. It's so, so colorful. I'm like, all right, that is some bold shades. I'm obviously not gonna be able to really do a full makeup look with this palette, but I think it would be a really nice palette to have on the side, like, oh, I want a hot pink lower lash line. Let me just go into this palette right here. So I'm super excited to get into this palette, try out the formula. I do have the other two festival palettes from like a year and then two years ago. They come out with one like every single year, so I'm like, well, I need the third one. So that's exactly why I purchased this palette. All right, next one is my oldest palette. This brings back memories and honestly, I didn't get that much use out of this palette, which I'm super sad about because the colors are right up my alley. I tried to avoid using it now because it's so old. It's probably like, hell, six years old at this point, but I still have it in my makeup collection for memories. It is the Pure Minerals Soul Matte Palette. And look how beautiful it is. For six years ago, that's a really good, beautiful palette, at least in my opinion. It got my mauves, it got my neutral tones. I don't see how I didn't reach for it that much. Like I did dip into it a good amount of times, but I never made like any dips or hit any pans or anything like that. But I think when I first started my makeup collection, just like now, buying all this makeup, buying all this makeup, and I didn't really get the chance to use this that often. I need like a thousand palettes tomorrow. So it's sad I didn't get more use out of this palette because I do remember it being a really good palette, but that is my oldest. Next one is most expensive palette. Guys, these are so expensive. It is the Natasha Denona like big white palettes. I hate it when my lighting gets darker whenever I hold up a white palette. I don't get it. I'm sorry. But these are the like, humongous Natasha Denona palettes. I have two of them. So I thought I would just mention both of them because they cost the exact same. I'm pretty sure this is the green brown palette and this is the purple blue palette. But these cost $250 each. Yeah. So if you guys can't afford this, it's fine. Like, this is outrageous pricing. I will say that these are the best eyeshadows that I've ever used. And honestly, I need to use them more. No, it's so expensive. I don't want to use it. But bitch, no. You paid a shit ton of money for this. You should use it more. But yeah, these are my most pricey palettes. All right, my most affordable palette now, and 
it's sad because you can't even get it like this anymore. These were the OG best drugstore palettes ever. I don't really like the new formula as much. I wish they would have just kept this formula. Anyways, this is the Went Wild Trio and this specific one, which is my favorite, is called Silent Treatment. I actually hit pan on this taupe purple shade down here. These probably cost $3 at the drugstore. They were so amazing. And then they had to go and like repackage it and reformulate it and they just, they ruined it. But this is the cheapest palette that I own. My everyday palette. So I went back and forth on a couple of these palettes because one that I'm gonna mention later in the video is something that I also use like every single day, but I could put that in a different category. So I decided to make this my everyday palette. This is the Dominique's Cosmetics Latte Palette. Oh my god! I get so much use out of this palette because it's like the neutral queen palette, I feel like. You do have two pops of color, which I actually really do like. I love putting it like on the lower lash line to just like that pop of color. So I really do love this. This is a great formula. Like she really nailed the formula. The shimmers are like out of this world, like beautiful metallic shimmers and the mattes blend so easily and they're so pigmented. I cannot get enough of this palette, so I had to make it my everyday palette. My most colorful palette. So I do have a few colorful palettes in my collection, but everybody is kind of mentioning the same palette, at least in my opinion, so I kind of wanted to go outside the box and mention something else. This is the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette, and I think this is the most beautiful packaging Oh my god, I love like the speckles and the hot pink. This is so beautiful. And this is what the inside looks like. It's so colorful! I'm gonna be honest though. I've had this for a couple months and I haven't used it. Not once. Isn't that sad? It's so beautiful, but I just never think of using like colorful palettes. I just... I'm into my neutrals. I really need to get outside my comfort zone and go into this palette because he has the most beautiful shades in this palette and it's stunning. Now my smallest palette and it was a toss up between my Wet n Wild one and this one I'm about to show you but I think this one's smaller and I don't even know if you can count this as a palette but it's in my palette drawer. This is the Mary Kay Mineral Eye Color Quad in the shade Sandstorm. And I mean, it's one of those that you can like take out and like put it in a Z palette. But this is my smallest palette that I own from Mary Kay. It probably costs like an arm and leg for this tiny little thing. But I got it when I was in Mary Kay and I used it quite a few times. It has some really beautiful shimmers in here, but I just have other palettes I reach for more. But it's so small, it's so cute. Alright, my biggest palette is this one. I love this palette so much! This is the Morphe Dare to Create 39A palette. I have to say, this is one of my favorite palettes from Morphe and I would recommend it to everybody. It's like a whole bunch of neutrals, but you got your pops of colors in there, but they're like neutral colors. I don't know, I just love this palette so much, but it's so big and bulky and bossy. I love it. Matt bought me an alcoholic drink to go. Mm, some good things about quarantine time. Alright, my best memory palette. This was kind of difficult. Best memory? What is that supposed to mean? You went on vacation with it and had a good memory with it or I don't know. I don't really get that. To me, I suppose this is my best memory palette it is the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. And I picked this as best memory palette because this is also another palette that I purchased when I first started my channel. So I think this just means a lot to me and I'll be keeping it in my collection forever because I started with this palette alongside this one. But I use this palette a lot. It has a lot of good like 
it's mattes, but it's like a satiny matte. And I feel like these are where the satin matte started and then just all the other companies exploded with them. But yeah, I really love this palette still. I don't use it as much, but it's very memorable to me. Worth the Hype palette. Can you guys guess what this is? I'll give you three seconds. Tati Beauty. Oh my god, the Volume 1 palette for Tati Beauty. This was insanely hyped about. Oh my god, this was everywhere. This was all over social media. I mean, it's for a freaking good reason. This is such a beautiful palette. I cannot get enough of this palette as well. I love the glitters in this palette. It's just, oh, whenever I go into this palette, I have to throw glitter on my lips. It's right there and it's so beautiful. So I had to put this as the most hyped about palette that I have in my collection. The palette's not worth the hype to me. I'm so scared to mention these. And yes, I said these because, well, I'll show you. They're all the same thing, all from the same company, and I just do not see the hype in them. And I feel like I'm going to get so much hate for saying this, but I gotta speak my mind. It's a Huda Beauty, like, mini palette. I'm sorry. I just, ugh. They're beautiful palettes, but I just do not get the hype over all of these palettes. I don't get why she keeps coming out with them, but I know that a lot of people love them. I just don't like mini palettes that much. I love the ColourPop 9 pan palettes, and I know these are 9 pan palettes as well, but these pans are so small. I can barely, like, fit my brush in these pans. Like, I just... I don't get it. I use each of them like once. I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't get the hype over these palettes and I'm really, really sorry. I'm sure it's some of your favorite palettes, but that's my opinion. Okay, now my favorite palette from my favorite brand. I had to mention ColourPop in this video, of course. ColourPop is one of my favorite companies, aside from Morphe, but I did mention a couple Morphe palettes in this video. This is the ColourPop So Jaded palette, and it's the one that Kathleen Lights collabed on. <sighs> this is my favorite palette, guys. I mean, not just in favorite brands, but this is one of my favorite palettes ever. I just think the color scheme is so beautiful. You get such a range of different unique shades. You get like warm and cool and colorful, neutral. You get a little bit of everything. So of course I had to put this palette in this video today. Last but not least, my most used palette. Can you all take a guess at what it is? Oh my God, this is my most used palette. I love the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. This is my favorite palette ever. I cannot believe I haven't hit pan on any of these shades yet. I seriously use it almost every single day. I'm obsessed with this palette. This is definitely hands down my most used palette and I love it so much. I even have a couple backups because I cannot ever live without this palette. All right, guys, and that completes this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Let me know your guys' answers down below because I want to see what everyone's answers is. I love palettes. I want to look for new palettes. I want to, like, just see if we have anything in common. So make sure to answer and comment down below your favorite palette, your worst palette, your biggest palette, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for me down below. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!